Yeah, I think, uh, you know, Mark, I think you talked about this a couple episodes ago. You talked about the idea maze uh, and how, you know, that's one thing that you see in mm -hmm. founders. I, I think Mark also has a theory on this, Mark, because I think, Mark, one of your theories is that startups, you know, just don't die and good things will wind up happening to you over long periods of time. In fact, I remember this very, very well, because I think in my first ever week at ACCNZ, we had this offsite and Mark kind of gave this whole speech on it. Do you want to talk a little bit about that? Um, and start up just kind of surviving and not dying? Yeah, let me just start with a disclaimer just in case we haven't officially registered it, which is nothing we're talking about is investment advice. Um, nothing we're talking about is price forecast. Um, certainly nothing that, yes. Um, so just uh, make sure we cover that. Um, yeah, so look, I, I, so my big conclusion, you know, coming up now in 30 years in the industry and kind of watching it, you know, for even another decade before that is basically that all of the ideas work. Um, and, the, the, and, and that sounds like it sounds like that can't po possibly be true, but let me describe what I mean, which is basically all of the new ideas that smart people come up with in tech, like they, they basically all happen. It's like, and you could just, you, you run down, you run down the list of all the stuff we have today. And it's all stuff that people thought would, would never work. And then it worked. Um, and then there's all this stuff, you know, today that people think is, you know, going to work and they're skeptics. And I, I think it's basically all going to work. And I, I think the basic reason for that is because, you know, the smart people working on this stuff are actually really smart. Um, and the use cases are actually pretty obvious. They're, they're, they're actually not big, not big reaches. Like if, if you know, if, if, when Brian describes, you know, the, the vision for, for Coinbase and for, for crypto and Bitcoin, it's just, it's fairly obvious, at least to me, that, that, that mm -hmm. these things are all going to happen. And um, then there's like this just massive, you know, question number one, which is like, okay, when, right? And, 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 that's, and that's the, you know, that's the devil. That's, you know, that's the devil in the details, right? Which is like, it, you know, things may happen now. They may happen five years from now, 10 years from now, 20 years from now. You know, sometimes things take 40, 50 years, but, but they still do happen. I mean, look, artificial intelligence, right? Artificial intelligence, people started working on artificial intelligence in like 1944, um, mm -hmm. and it really started to work in 2012. Right. And so that, you know, that's, that's maybe a, you know, sort of spectacular kind of long-term case, um, you know, smartphone, I always point to the smartphone. The first smartphone I, that I'm aware of was shipped actually in 1982, uh, by Radio Shack. And then you had a sequence of products that, you know, that worked to some degree before you had the iPhone in 2007, you know, the internet was invented in, in, you know, essentially in the 1970s and then it, it took off in the 1990s. And so, so there, there is this timing thing and we, you know, we could, we could talk a great length about that, but the, you know, that, that's a big unknown. Um, and then look, there is the micro thing. I would, Sri Ram, I would, I would not, I would not quite say what you said, which is stay alive and then eventually good things will happen. Like that, that, that's that's too optimistic. Um, but um, <laughs> but but the the way I would word it is, I guess the way we we think about it inside our firms is like our responsibility number one with our companies is to try to keep them alive for as long as possible. Um, and and the, and the mm -hmm. reason for that is that it's buying option value against this puzzle of time. Right. Um, and so, mm -hmm. and, and look, lots of startups don't work. Lots of projects don't work. You know, your project might not work. Our project might not work. Um, you know, generally speaking, if things don't work, if, if a startup doesn't work in the first five, six, seven, eight years, like it might not work. Like the, it, it, there is like a statute of limitations on these things. And at some point you can, you can kind of lose the coherence of the team. And, and you do often see this thing where it's multiple generations of startups before you get to the one that works. But by far, the, the the best way to optimize the chances of success is to, is to basically buy time, like like keep working on the project, mm -hmm. and then and then and then buy time for as long as you can. Um, and so, and, I, and I, as time has passed, you know, to Brian's point, what we what we've discovered is very much what he said, which is determination, or as, as we put it, courage, um, is the key attribute. And if you can stay in market, you can stay in business, you can keep refining what you do. Um, you know, I guess one other thing I'd add is it. The stories of like the instant hit are like the viral stories. They're the ones you always hear about. Um, it, a lot of the really big successes in tech have been things that just had a, uh, had a slow burn up front. Like it, it just took time to get them mm -hmm. to work and then they took off. And, and then the stories are kind of retcon later to kind of, you know, erase the years of, of, of sort of slog yeah. uh, to get there because nobody wants to talk about that. Um, but, um, you know, it, it, the overnight successes are actually often the result of a decade or more of work. Um, and I, I think that's always worth uh, bearing in mind.